All right, so last time we talked about sober breathing and how that's an effective tool for kind of helping us get out of that automatic pilot and just kind of going through the motions to being able to bring ourselves back in control and be able to think more thoughtfully about the way in which we would like to respond to a situation, remember? So, you know, we kind of talked about that in some instances and what I ask you to do is actually to try to do this for homework, right? So throughout the, the past week, um, to go through and gather some information about some situations in which you try to use sober breathing and kind of what that looked like. So, did you have an opportunity to try sober breathing? Yeah. All right, tell a me times. a few times. All right, fantastic. So, tell me about the first situation. What What was the situation? What was kind of going on? Um, I actually ran into an old friend that I used to use with. Also, oh, someone you used to drink with. Yeah. All right, so you bumped into them. We at the store. Yeah. Okay, so you just kind of. Ran into them, and then what happened? What thoughts, emotions, what kind of happened as a result of bumping into that person? I mean, it just kind of brought me back and made me think about drinking again and cravings. And... So you were craving pretty hard. Yeah. Kind of saw that person, reminded you of all the, the times that you've been drinking together, and then yeah. your cravings were pretty high. How about your, were your cravings on a scale of 1 to 10? A nine, so they're pretty high. That's yeah. that's pretty high. That's definitely high. I haven't heard a nine from you for a while. Um, so that person really brought up those feelings in you. Yeah, I used to drink strong. with that all the time. Okay, okay. Um, so did you get a chance to try sober breathing in the situation? Mm -hmm. Okay, so walk me through that. So how, how did you notice that you needed to stop and take stock of the situation? What kind of gave that away? Well, just the feelings I was having. It felt like drinking. So you kind of felt like drinking and maybe you were a little bit worried that you were kind of headed in that direction, right? Because we talked about how, you know, automatic pilot takes over and you kind of just go back to those old behaviors. Yeah. And that's kind of the default. So it sounds like that kind of started happening with you. You kind of started going down that road and you stopped. Walk me through the rest of it. What happened then? I started taking some deep breaths. Okay. Then I thought about it again. I, I considered asking her to hang out when I saw her, but okay. after taking some deep breaths, I decided not to. So you kind of noticed that first you, you were having those cravings. You didn't want to be having those. You didn't want to kind of see that out. You didn't want to be drinking. So then you kind of remembered to do some deep breathing, and then you gave it a little bit more thought. And it sounds like you initially maybe wanted to ask her to hang out, spend some time together, right? Um, but you kind of went through most of these steps, I caught these, and what was the what was the response? What did you end up doing? Just walking away. I didn't even talk to her. Oh, you didn't even talk to her? No, I just saw her. Oh, you just saw her. Okay, so before you even had the chance to go through, that's that's really nice. So you gave yourself an opportunity to respond more thoughtfully. And it sounds like that's more consistent with the way you wanted to kind of proceed in that situation. Yeah. And maybe in the past, had you not done this, you might have Walked over to her and just said, hey, how's it going? Let's hang out. Let's do something tonight. Let's do something? Yeah. Okay, so that it looks like, you know, by doing this and giving yourself an opportunity to kind of regain that control, you responded in a way that was more consistent with your goals of sobriety. Yeah. All right, fantastic. What else do you have on the list? So you got a couple other things there, um, or maybe one other thing. I got in trouble at work. My boss was mad. And okay. it just kind of made me upset. And then I felt like drinking. And... Okay, so you had a, something happened at work. Sounds like you kind of got yelled at by your boss, and that led you kind of feel bad. And then that kind of led into the, the cravings. Like alcohol will yeah, help with this, alcohol will maybe take these feelings away. Yeah, I just wanted to drink. Okay, so in this situation, were you able to use sober? Yeah. All right, so tell me, how did you know how to stop in this situation? Um. I guess again, just by the, the feeling of wanting to drink. Mm -hmm. So those cravings kind of cue you. It seems like for you, those cravings are one of those things that you really notice. You're really kind of getting good at noticing when you're starting to have those cravings. And in this case, it sounds like again, you so breathing. So what what happened after that? You kind of stopped yourself and then went through the process. Yeah, then <clears throat> thought about it and um, did quite a bit of deep breathing. A little so bit more stressful situation. Yeah. Took a little bit longer to calm down. And then what was the eventual response? How did you end up responding in this situation? I don't know, I felt less upset. 
So you didn't need this. No. So you kind of just went back to work and kept doing, you know, trying the best to go through your day yeah, and yeah. everything like that. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, that, that sounds like it's maybe a lot different than what would have happened in the past. I mean, you've even told me about situations and, you know, where you were at work and you ended up leaving after and going right to the, the liquor store and getting you know, kind of drinking after that. So in this situation, you know, you recognize that you're having cravings, right? So you stopped yourself, observed what was going on, thoughts you're having, did quite a bit of deep breathing in this case, and then chose actually to just go back to work and respond in a little bit more thoughtful way than maybe you would have just reacted by going and, and drinking. All right, so thank you for walking me through those situations. It sounds like you know, you had a couple of good situations in which sober breathing was really helpful over this past week. Um, and again, the whole idea is to help ourselves get out of that automatic pilot and to really regain cognitive control and be able to be thoughtful about the decision we want to make, right? Um, so in this case, you know, it sounds like you were able to do that successfully and you responded in a way that's more consistent with sobriety than maybe you would have in the past. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it.